To really understand where we are as a company and where we're headed in terms of the technology, let's take a step back and talk about the fundamentals of lithium ion batteries. A lithium ion battery is an electrochemical cell that consists of a cathode and an anode. The cathode is a piece of aluminum foil with some type of lithium compound on top of it. In our case, this lithium compound is lithium iron phosphate, or LIFEPO4. The anode, which is the negative side of the battery, is comprised of a piece of copper foil with graphite coated on it. Graphite is C6. In between, there's a thin plastic separator, typically polyethylene, polypropylene, and this entire structure is filled in with a liquid. This liquid electrolyte has a lot of lithium ions inside of it, Li+. Now, when you charge this for the very first time, you're basically pumping electrons from the cathode to the anode. And when the electron comes off of the cathode, the lithium iron phosphate becomes a lithium ion plus the electron that gets pumped out, plus iron phosphate. And that's what's left behind on the cathode. The lithium ion that came out basically migrates through the electrolyte towards the anode, or the graphite on the negative side, and recombines with the electron that's been pumped through the charger. And now the lithium ion plus the electron reacts with the graphite to form a lithiated graphite. And when this cycle is complete, then the battery is fully charged. As the battery discharges, the reverse reaction happens. At that point, the battery is discharged. A lead acid battery is also an electrochemical cell. In its discharged state, both the anode and the cathode are composed of lead sulfate, and the electrolyte is sulfuric acid. And within the electrolyte, protons, or hydrogen ions, are allowed to move back and forth between the electrodes. As the battery is charged, we're pumping, once again, electrons from one side to the other. And on the cathode, what's formed is lead oxide. And on the anode, pure lead metal is formed, and the electrolyte becomes very rich in sulfuric acid. So you can see that in a lead acid battery, there's quite a bit of both lead and sulfuric acid that are required in order for this electrochemical cell to function. Well, lead is highly toxic, and sulfuric acid is highly corrosive. There's a couple of fundamental differences between how a lithium ion battery works and how a lead acid battery works, even though they're both electrochemical cells. For example, in a lead acid battery, the electrolyte is sulfuric acid, which actually is water with sulfate and hydrogen ions dissolved in it. One thing to note is if you have a high charge on water, you can cause electrolysis of water, which can react to form hydrogen and oxygen. Of course, that's an explosive mixture, and that's why it's important that lead acid batteries are vented. In the lithium ion case, we have an organic electrolyte. We actually don't require venting, and the cells are all individually completely sealed. And that's why we're able to mount lithium ion battery packs in unvented compartments. Another fundamental difference is just the weight. Obviously, in a lead acid battery, there's a lot of lead. Lead is a very heavy element, and in a lithium ion battery, the lithium itself is extremely light, but the other components, the graphite and the iron phosphate in a lithium iron phosphate battery, by comparison, in terms of energy they deliver, are much lighter than the lead acid electrochemical cell. A third thing that can happen in a lead acid cell is you get what's called sulfation where you get sulfate crystals forming on the electrodes of a lead acid battery. And that significantly increases the impedance of the battery, which makes it difficult to even get any power out of it in that situation. It's also a very difficult situation to resolve, if even at all possible. And that sort of sulfation phenomenon does not exist in a lithium ion battery. So because of these fundamental differences between our lithium ion batteries and lead acid batteries, our batteries are safer, longer lasting, lighter, more reliable. And that's why we say for deep cycle applications, lead is dead.